Eddie Pepperell defending his lead, rolling one up. Here's the part you talked about, Matt, at the 10th for Eddie Pepperell. Yeah, very difficult to marry the speed and line. Eddie's normally a pretty good long distance putter. He looks like he's got this one trundling down there at the perfect pace. Oh. It doesn't look a bad oh. line. Oh, oh, Eddie. <laughs> and there was, I was saying it was going to be a tough two putt, and Eddie floats it in for a two. <laughs> well, that is a bonus, isn't it? For sure. Pepperell to four under. A weird sort of action where he goes just across the line, whereas this is pretty textbook. Eddie, there's no funny moves. Absolutely on the same plane, up and down, with a late hit and a good turn. Classic. You won't see too many better shots than that into the 11th. Inside right, nice and firm up the hill. This is one you always feel like you should make. And he does. And after the birdie at 10, he pops another one in there at number 11. And Pepperell moves to five under and within one of the lead. He made that birdie look simple at 11, but it's, it really is a strong hole. You have to trust me on that. He's, he's hit a great tee shot, great second shot, and popped the putt in. He just made it look like the easiest par four in, on the course. Back over to 12, and the second shot here for Eddie Pepperell. And Charma has already played and didn't get it over the ridge, rolled back towards the front portion of that front bowl. 141 for Pepperell off an uphill lie. This is a chance to get it close to the hole with just a wedge. Yeah. Oh. Well, he was saying sit down. <laughs> it certainly did that. Checked up nicely down that slope. Not much downhill slope to this one for Eddie, but as it approaches the hole, it's going to want to dive from right to left. Just trying to hit this dead weight, maybe drop it in. The perfect marriage, eh? There's a conundrum. Almost, almost from Eddie. He certainly got the pace of the greens better than anyone that I've seen so far. After that long one dropped in on 10. Nice view of Eddie's putt. Oh, and it just seemed to sneak right off the club face, but it snuck left at the end. No pictures on the scorecard, Ed, just another solid three. Outside the left edge, after being in perfect position with a wedge to the green, this one would sting if he makes a bogey. It is a six for Pebble. First drop shot today, so he's back to five under. He's the best in the business at this shot for me, Eddie, Eddie Pepperell. I'm going to go out and say that. Put myself under pressure now. Come on, Eddie, deliver for me. Thanks, mate. Straight down the flag. <coughs> Has no fear of running it past the hole, but this is going to have more right to left, influenced by the slope coming off the right fringe. grass grab the hosel and tug it left so the smart play is just trying to make par the hard way sit, sit. that's a heck of a play not only was it aggressive it was a great shot yeah absolutely brilliant from Eddie Pepper you can see the club head speed he had to generate to get it there it was a wonderful swing at it that power and control 10 out of 10 You'd be up there for a while, wouldn't you? Three three months on the International Space Station with a bunch of Russians. 
I not think, a holiday, is it? I think it was one of those ones where you go up and then you come down on the same day, Mark. I don't think you're up there for a few months at a time. Which Eat, eating eating powdered protein. <laughs> you have to aim a bit right at the bin when you don't go in. The swing in anger going with the driver and all you have to do is not miss it in the right bunker and it's an easy layup. It's gone for the fade again and putting a lot of movement on it. Just getting it in play as Jay said. It's about 280 from the tee just there. There's a bunker down there on the left hand side so you'd just be picking a line somewhere towards those the right hand of those white tents that you can see. Try and leave a yard as you like. Follow through for it. Well, we're told it's safe. Can't really quite see where it's finished. Nice stuff. Let's go up to 18. Third shot for Pepperell. About a half a club of wind behind Eddie from 134 here. Very hey, inviting hole location. Yeah. It's right there. Shot from Eddie Pepple there, controlling his speed a bit better there through the ball, perfectly pin high. Which defies logic. We we're so used to putts breaking towards the front of the green, and it did break a lot left to right. It's amazing the last hour and a half of play there. Eddie seemed to make a, a lot of mistakes, but it's still still 66, and he made it he made it look quite look quite easy. See though, 32 going out, 34 coming home. It's a very nice start for Eddie Pepperell. Eddie, an opening round 66, plenty of birdies on the card early on, but was there a little bit of a frustration maybe in the last few holes? Um, yeah, yeah, probably. I, I hit some bizarre shots, some really bad ones. I hit, I hit some really good ones, but uh, and then it would have been nice to hold that part on the last for sure. I, I felt like I lost a bit of concentration at the end. I was flagging a bit, um, but uh, yeah. I mean, it's a decent, it's a good start, and I'm right, you know, in a nice spot, so I can't, I can't have too many complaints. They seem to have left the rough up a little bit more this year. You had a great year here last year. You know, how does the course compare from what you've seen today? Yeah, I think there is more rough. Um, it's definitely thicker, and yeah, it's it's great condition. It always has been great condition here. I mean, obviously they might have had a bit of a wetter summer than they did last year. Certainly wetter than we've had in the UK, I think. Um, but uh, yeah, I think if the wind picks up for the weekend, which or for the next few days, which it might, then it's going to be a really potentially a good, really good, good test out there. You shot four great rounds, as I just mentioned last year here. I mean, how much do you draw from that? You know, it was windy, it was wet last year, and you played well in those conditions. Yeah, um, I don't remember too much about last year. I'm going to be honest. I barely remember last week. Um, I I remember having a good final day. I think I had a frustrating Saturday, and I had a good final day, and. Uh, and it was a log jam at the top. I think mean, I was tied third with a lot of players. So it was, you know, this course seems to have that feature in that the leaderboard's going to get stacked. And um, it's a tough course to shoot nine under on. But if you're playing anywhere, if you're playing decent, which, you know, you're going to have 40, 50 guys play decent, then you're going to it's a, you're going to shoot somewhere between two and five. And therefore you get, I think, a big bunching. So I'm expecting that again. Hopefully the uh, conditions can separate the, the leaderboard a little bit, which um, would be nice. Biggest positive you take from today's round? My caddy's been making these um, Duran Duran's balls of goodness, I call them. They're full of just nuts and seeds and all sorts. They're amazing. He makes them every week now and they're getting better and better. And that was a highlight. I think I ate on the back nine. That was a real highlight. So shout out to the mix, uh, mix balls of goodness. Yeah. We'll play today. Thank you. If you want to watch another European Tour video, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here.